I got more to talk about. <laughs> I know. Because <laughs> I only went through three on my list. And there's there's more. <laughs> Wait a minute. What was the last thing we said? I, I had something I was going to say. What was the last thing? We were talking about the hat. You said, yeah. I said there's another show I want to mention about power levels. Power levels. Uh, well, no. The um. So for starters, the the slime one being mm-hmm. a isekai slice of life. Or oh, it's the worst part of both. It, it's the worst part of both, and both of them are the most generic parts of anime. Yes, <laughs> smash together. It's, you can not get anything. I agree so wholeheartedly with that. Substantial. <laughs> that out of my face man weeds is it is it on so guys oh my goodness oh i got a stupid crunch roll man let the town die (laughs) but everybody has their own taste right 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 i do love me some music (laughs) guys this is true this is true this is fine also this is why i delve into most of the easy guys because nobody else wants maybe well george does (laughs) that's true and if aaron was here he would be with me I, when I watch anime, what I want is I want it to, uh, like, knock my socks off. I want it to be like, whoa, this is awesome. And so, like, and most of the time, isekais don't do that for me. Yeah. You're watching the wrong isekai. I probably. I, I like me some power tripping well, world politics. So, but I have seen isekais you do love, and I don't. <laughs> so I don't think it's I don't think it's the fact that they're not good. I think it's that I, I think don't you're like just, it's guy. just not for you. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of these guy. I'm like, let me but let me get some big robots flying at each other or something. That's like why that. I take it for the team. Yes, and I watch all the isekai for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get it, get the job done. Right yeah, right. George watches a fair bit of isekai. Yeah, but he's got bad opinions. Keep talking. I'm listening. I'm getting more coffee. Actually, hit me up too. <laughs> yeah. George got bad opinions. He does. And then Aaron surprisingly has very similar taste to me. And it's really crazy to see the stuff that he has read and what he enjoys. I, I know why that is. And it's for starters, it's probably for the fact that both of you like books. And so I, me and George aren't exactly the big. I guess. Yeah. Well, like George will read like popular books. And right. Like that, but he'll like listen to them like on audiobook or something. Right. Like, you know. But. Uh, what's it called? I don't. I, I guess I heard every. If it's I mean, like something that comes from the book, I won't know what that is. Right. I'm mean, like the books you're into are like not. I mean, it's not not normal, but like it's um vastly different. This you're like because you're listening to like biographies about Quentin Tarantino and stuff like that. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Or you're, you know you're listening to stuff you grew up with, or like old books that you wanted to like hear the original source material of where I'm reading fantasy stuff. Exactly. So it's like, yeah, it's like the, the, they're such completely different. Yeah. But like Aaron falls in that category with me because he reads fantasy stuff. Right. But it's just like the fantasy stuff he reads falls in line with my taste. Yeah, that is weird, isn't it? Because. Welcome to Bakken Target. Yeah. Like his taste in, well, I wouldn't say, you know, perfectly, but a lot of the stuff that he likes overlaps with what I like. That is weird, actually, now that you mention that, because me and George like a lot of the same things, but there's some stuff we're completely like opposite. Right. On. Well, I mean, and George and I like a lot of the same stuff, yeah. too, but like we like it for different reasons. Yeah. I think Aaron and I like a lot of the same stuff for the same reason. There's an overlap. There's a good, like, I'd say 50% of stuff that you and me agree on. And then right. 50% of stuff we just like completely oh, disagree I mean, on. Yeah. I mean, that's normal. Like any, you know, sane normal friendship, you're not going to agree exactly. 100%. Yeah. But it's like the amount of overlap that Aaron and I have, specifically that I don't hang out a lot with Aaron. <laughs> the only time I hung out with Aaron a lot was at work when yeah. he was my helper last yeah, summer. Yeah. Yeah. But even then, he already had a developed taste in what he liked in books. Yeah. Yeah. And it happened to extremely overlap with what I have. Yeah, that's true. It's like how, like, how do both of you know about Warhammer? You know? Right. <laughs> but like Jackson reads surprisingly a lot of novels and manga stuff, but he has vastly different tastes than what yes. I like. Yes. So he's big on the 86. Right. So <laughs> even, even if you do read novels and books and stuff, you're not necessarily going to 
have the same taste, but it's just surprising to me how much Aaron and I overlap. <laughs> right, right. Because it's almost like there's, like, for everybody, it's like, you know, 50-50 kind of thing. Yeah. And for, like, you and Aaron, it's like an 80% of things. Right. So you're like, okay, on. with how much we overlap, it's surprising with how little we've interacted with each other over the 10 years I've known everybody yeah. here. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because he definitely like, wasn't reading that stuff like 10 years ago. Right. Because yeah. I know a lot of George's taste was probably molded because he was friends with you. This is true. Yeah. And you got him into stuff and he started picking things up here and there. Yes. So yeah. I'm pretty sure a lot of the stuff he has picked up is because he's hung out with you. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. Right. But like, like I keep saying, it's just surprising how much Aaron and I have an overlap with each other. <laughs> but moving on from that. Yeah. Yeah. What else is on the list? There's some more stuff. Give me give me the list. Give me the list. Okay, the next one is it's a big one from the past few years. Everybody knows it. I can't see it. It's jobless reincarnation. Oh, yeah. oh, Rudy. Yeah. Rudy. I've only seen the first part of season one. Uh I've only seen season one and I started season two, but I got sidetracked with the next thing that's on the list. But I mean, I've been reading the novels for a while now. I really enjoy the show. It's just one of those. Just as a side note. Yeah. George was watching the anime. You were reading the light novel and you both were talking about the same thing, but because he was using the English title, you guys didn't realize you were talking about the same thing. You're like, oh, you're like, that's like a, what is it? Uh, What's the? Mishoku Tensei. Mishoku Tensei. And he's yeah. just like, he's like, yeah, that one probably copies like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like, you guys are like talking about it. And I'm like, wait a minute, guys. I was like, George, is the main character's name Rudy? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. And I was like, Eric. And you're oh, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you thought you were like, you're like, wow, these are very similar. It's like, you are you got the wrong title. You no, got no, the no, wrong no. title. Yeah. George was using Mashoku Tensei because that's where it was used everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you were using And Java I was using Jabba's Reincarnation because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how the light novels yeah. were. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I remember. It, it, it was like the you were yeah. like, like it sounds similar to this. Yeah, I think I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I, I watched Mashoku Tensei or Jabba's Reincarnation. It's it's a I mean it's a phenomenal show. It's like yeah, it's like the I wouldn't say it's the baseline, but it's like what Isekai should copy or right. what it should strive Cause, to be because it's old, isn't it? It's older, yes. Yeah, because it's, it's got like twenty something novels out now. Yeah. It's very old. From what I heard, the studio that's making it was made to make that show. Yes. And so it's similar to like Wit Studios with Attack on Titan. But that's why it's yeah. it's such a distinct art style. Right. It's right. a studio specifically made for that show. Yeah. So I mean why don't more people do that? Like um, a studio for a show. Yeah. It's, usually, usually, come on. So I mean when they do that, usually they, you know, flourish, become an actual studio because like yeah. like trigger. Trigger was like, like that. They're like, we're branching off and we're going to make Kill a Kill. Kill a Kill. Yeah, and now man. it's a general, general, you know, a genuine studio. Yeah. But then it's just the new guy next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, they might do other projects, but I think, yeah, what they're doing with Jobless Reincarnation is really good. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, I would say it's generic because it's like, you know, you know how there's like the father of some like the father of cleaning germs and, you know, the father of yeah, this, like yeah. right? Jabba's reincarnation is like the father of Isekai. So, like, uh, yeah. It's not the original one, but like it's what everybody, it's like it researched it enough to like, hey, I'm putting out my thesis paper. And then everybody was like, this is what <laughs> Isekai is. This is a standard. Yeah. yeah. For what it, yeah. yeah. Cause yeah, I was, when I watched it, I was like, there's like a lot of, this stuff does like a lot of stuff, right? Whereas other shows do not do like anything close, which, you yeah. know, you're going to get that all the time. Yeah. It's just like, I think they like try to copy it, but it's just like, I wouldn't say perfected it, but it's like it, it left a very strong foundation yeah. for other isekais to build off of. Right. And yeah, because then you got stuff like the Faraway Paladin, which the author, you know, said in an interview, it was like, when I was writing Faraway Paladin, the big the big novel web novel at the time was Jabba's reincarnation and i took a lot of inspiration from that okay so a lot of authors say that it's just like i've never heard of faraway paladin is it uh, um it's the one where um he's the paladin that's being raised by the three undead is that airing right now uh i think season 2 just got announced and it aired a couple seasons ago 
Okay. It's not yeah. the etchy one, is it? No, no, no. Okay, no, gotcha. No, no. But yeah, it's another web novel, light novel series. But a lot of shows just say, hey, we took inspiration from Jobless Reincarnation, which is understandable. It's yeah. a very strong foundation. It's got everything you need in it. So I, I think Shield here it took like the look of like its world. Yeah. Probably from that. Like yeah. that's probably like the big thing that it got mm-hmm. from it. I mean, everybody's gonna copy from each other somehow, some way. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's just like like I said, Jobless Reincarnation is that foundation that everybody should take yeah. inspiration from if you're going to start an isekai. They say lazy writers copy, good writers steal. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Steal your ideas from that show. Just make it different or better. Yep. yep. Make it that people don't know you stole it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gave it an eight. I enjoy the show. I don't think it's a masterpiece like everybody giving a 10. No, no. It's got flaws, obviously. Hey, yeah, a ton of them. But yeah. it's... It's genuinely good. Then here's the big one that I thoroughly enjoyed. I still can't see it. <laughs> Do I get a guess? Do you want to guess it? Yeah, give me a guess. Give me a guess. Though. Let me see. Okay. All right. My eyes are closed. Eric, what's yeah. my first hint? Um, Isekai. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, that, I didn't need a hint for that one. Give me okay. another hint. <laughs> uh. This one might just give it away, but female protagonist. Female protagonist. This is, um, this is uh the villainous. Mm. And it, oh no, okay. Uh, slime has a female protagonist, but we already talked about that, yes, so sir. it's not that. The sword one has a girl, but that's not. She's a co-protagonist, but not the protagonist. Okay. Um. Bofuri has but that's no. not Nisekai. Oh yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> um, oh, the one where uh, she wants to be normal, and so but she becomes over. She she goes to the other world and she's still overpowered. No, I watched that show when it was airing, and that's not what it's about. No, oh, okay. I mean, that's what that show is about, but that's not what I watched. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, all right, give me another hint. I'm just kind of. I'm trying to think of a hint that wouldn't give it away. Oh, uh, damn. Let me, let me let me think. Hair color. That will straight up give it away. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very unique. Okay. Um how do I Um uh uh so if if the main character is a girl, mm-hmm. then give me the guy's hair color. Is there a guy in it? There is. There okay. are several male characters in it. I'll give you one of them. Blonde. And I'll give you another one, light blue. Oh, I know what it is. Do you now? I do. Hit me with it. Is the main character's hair blue? Yes, sir. Is it a uh, bookworm? Yes, sir. Did I get it? Remnants <laughs> of a bookworm. Yeah. <laughs> I sat down one weekend and watched all three seasons. I have only seen two. It is a very good show. Yeah. It is extremely good. I, I, I thought it was pretty good. Um, one of the things about it is just the production value, from my opinion, is not yes. good. Yeah, the production value is very lacking. And a better studio could have picked up the show, yeah. but the story carries that show. It is... It's just good. Like, I don't have any bad thing to say about the show. <laughs> like, genuinely. Other, other it, than, it's, yeah, like after, yeah. uh, it's like after I read The Hobbit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. after I read The Hobbit, I was like, I genuinely have nothing bad to say about the book. Just a side note, because you mentioned The Hobbit or whatever, that Gollum game apparently sucks. Yeah. yeah it sucks game. so, so bad. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I was like, whoa, I yeah. didn't even know this was out. <laughs> and then put screenshots and GIFs and like yeah. videos. I was like, oh, this is. I was like, garbage. that game is broken. Like just watching it run or whatever, I was like, no, this yeah. is our, I'm already it's getting nightmares so from it. So bad. Oh my goodness. It is uh, apparently the worst rated uh, PS5 game currently. Yeah. yeah. And then speaking of Lord of the Rings stuff. Okay. Amazon Studios picked up the license to do another Lord of the Rings MMO. Oh. So they are making a new MMO that's not related to the other MMO that's currently in. Can they also pick up Respawn Entertainment back from the dead yeah, no. and make a no. Lord of the Rings Conquest no. game? No. Two? No. <laughs> No, they're asking way too much now. Not respawn. Um, pandemic. Yeah, you're asking yeah. way too much now. Yeah. But moving on from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
after I read The Hobbit, I was genuinely like, there's nothing I can say bad about this. Book one. No, when oh, after I read Hobbit. The Hobbit. Hobbit. Okay, gotcha. I, had, I had that yeah, feeling yeah, yeah. of... Same feel. There's, there's, there's <laughs> okay. nothing. I, I was trying to be. I was like, wait, how far back did we go? Yeah, I was <laughs> like, there's just really nothing I feel that's wrong or bad about the book. Yeah. After I was done watching Bookworm, I was like, I don't have anything negative to say about this show. Okay. I genuinely feel this is a great show. Oh, okay, gotcha. Like there was no sense of malice, no sense of anger. Yeah. yeah. No sense of. Feeling I was missing something. <laughs> no sense of... You got it all. I felt like I got it all. And after I was done, I was like, I need to know more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of those shows. Okay. So, I put in my top 10 list. <laughs> 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 and I, I genuinely... So, normally when I like Isekai, right? Right. I like, you know, having fighting in it. You know, a general like... Which that show does not. Power level. Yeah. There is fighting in it at a point. Yeah. But it's just like, it's just random stuff that's part of the world that she's not particularly part of. Yeah. And then I like, you know, seeing the different power levels and watching things build. This show builds it differently because it builds it in the sense that she's a girl, very frail, living in essentially like a one room apartment, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, with that's her family. Also, that, that's something they also did, where it's like, yeah, she's like just like the weakest thing possible. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> it's just like she's very weak, and her world is essentially the small room, and then it builds to where she can go around. She can go to the forest. She's working at the gate. Eventually, yeah. she's working at the church, and then by the end of it, spoilers. I don't care. She's adopted by the literal lord of the entire. The oh, area she lives in. Really? So at the end of the third season, she's a noble, which is a huge thing in that world. Yeah. Because, so, yeah, when I when I was watching, I got the sense of poor people. Am yeah. I right? Well, yeah, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. It's like, oh, pleb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like, so it's, it's a power level scaling in the sense that she's a frail girl with knowledge of her world. And she's built up a power to now where she's a noble. Yeah, yeah. And that's the end of the third season which is only like eight novels in and there's like 26 novels out oh okay <laughs> there's so a bit of a it, ways to go. it keeps going up that's surprising because yeah when i was watching the two seasons i was like man like they're this is going at a slow pace right now huh? it's a it's a slow burn it's like um it's used in gacha games it's a bonsai yeah where you slowly watch it flourish yeah but it's a slow burn, burn, but like it's building a lot. Like you can see a progression of frail little girl in a one room apartment. So she can go around and do everything. She's making yeah. money. She's a merchant. She's working in the church. She d- figures out her power. One of the, yeah. One of the things that I was getting from that is, so keep in mind, I, I think the show's fairly all right. Mm-hmm. They're like good and stuff like that. I'm not a big, I'm not the biggest fan. Obviously it's not mm-hmm. you know, my style of like show and stuff. Like that. Mm-hmm. But so what I did get from it is that, it kind of holds the, um, you, you know, when you watch a show and mm-hmm. then you think about it later, like months later or whatever, and you're like imagining, you're just like, yeah, like, you know, the world kind of goes like it's this way in the town mm-hmm. and then you get here and then you get yeah. here. Like think of Spirited Away, right? Yeah. You know your way for that bathhouse. Mm-hmm. Even though you've never been there, you know your way for that bathhouse. Yeah. So, yeah. And I got somewhat of a feeling like that or whatever, where it's like, okay, the there's the outside mm-hmm. where... I mean, I, obviously, I, I, I don't I, know the specific I, locations, you, you but they'll go look, outside. There's the well, the look of it, yeah, and stuff like that. You know, you're you're thinking of those. Uh, obviously, they're like you know, like what tan, like brick, you yeah. know, kind of like buildings and stuff. Yeah, like that. but it's like, yeah, it's it, it it feels like it builds up to her getting up to the castle, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that that's why. So, like, you can see world building. In other words, like you know, power scaling, and that's yeah. the power scaling is her just progressing through the world in the class system and trying to survive in it, right. And then there's all the politics behind it and stuff like that. I genuinely think it's a like I think about the show a lot. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> like after I after I was done watching, I was like, I'm still thinking about this show. Yeah. And I'm trying to speed through some other book series I'm going through right now because I want to start on the novels. Hey, I yeah. really want to read. I like I bought Keep like the first it. five novels. 
Oh, okay. So you're ready to, yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to go into it, but it's just like, I want to get into it because I'm still sitting there thinking like, what happened? I need to know what happens. And it's just good. Yeah, yeah. It's like, How long has that one been running if there's 26? Or oh, yeah. it's been running for a while. Okay. Like if you've got 20 something novels, you've probably been around 10 plus years. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, man, that's, that's been. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 10 plus years. That's like as long as Tech on Titan's been uh, yeah. airing <laughs> like a show. <laughs> yeah. But I, I put it on my favorites and I didn't give it a 10. I gave the first season an eight because the first season is a slow burn. But the next two seasons, I gave nines. That's that's awesome. See, there's no problem with having. I, I don't see why people feel like they have to make every show in their title favorites like mm. a ten. Yes, it's like no, you can say that it's like not like perfect and still yeah. like it. Like, I only have I only, how many? Times? Now, all of my favorites though, those are definitely ten out of tens. Those shows are perfect. There's nothing wrong with those shows. I've got one ten on my list. <laughs> <laughs> Is major season five. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one game season or no no no? no it's, that's uh, the that's it's the World Series arc. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. Or the World Cup. Season four is the one season or one game. Uh, no, there's there's no one game. Oh, okay. No, I thought Jeff mentions. No, you're thinking of like High Q or something. Yeah, High Q. <laughs> Where season three is one volleyball match. That's true. Yeah. Just one, yeah, 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 the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I uh, generally believe Ascendance of the Bookworm is great and one of the best isekai out there. Hey, so how many on your list are not isekais? Uh, one <laughs> that I've watched. <laughs> I wasn't expected to be that number. <laughs> yeah. So there's, so how many how many shows did I watch? Uh-huh. Um, Emma's the Shadow. Uh, reincarnated as a sword, uh-huh. slime for three hundred years, yeah, jobless reincarnation, yeah, three seasons of Ascendance of a Bookworm, X show and X show. So I watch nine shows, and one of them is not an isekai. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say the isekai one yet, or the one that's not an isekai? No. Okay, that is after Ascendance of a Bookworm. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. It's a uh, it's yeah. a wild turn, but Ascendance of the Bookworm. Everybody should watch the show. It's <laughs> phenomenal. I can't get enough of it. What the is? One. Yeah. What is the non isekai? Oh, guess? Well, yeah. I'll guess. I'll guess. You don't have your phone on. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, genre. Shonen. Decade. Uh, well, this decade. Technically. So 2020 20 and beyond. 2020 to 2030. Okay. Shonen this decade. Uh, let me see. Uh, people's general opinion on the show. 10 out of 10. Greatest thing ever made. You should watch this. Best thing ever. Shonen 10 out of 10. Man, there's a few of those. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll pick one a year. So let me see. So. I know you already watched Chainsaw Man, which was last year. Yes, sir. Before that was 2021. What was the one that What's the other big show in and of this time? There's three that I can immediately think of. Okay. I'm thinking of that one, and I'm thinking of... So, Demon Slayer. That's one of them. But it's not Demon Slayer, probably, because you would have said... That, and I already watched the first season a long time ago. I know what it is. Do you now? No, I don't. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And this is shonen shonen, not like seinen shonen. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. What do you mean by that? You mean it's not like... So like seinen shonen, like yeah, Attack on Titan is seinen shonen. Yeah. Like it's a shonen show, but like it's got very seinen elements because you know it's more adult. That's true. Well, I mean... Something like uh, like Hell's Paradise or whatever uh, is uh, like Chainsaw that's like, Man toes the line of being sane and shonen. Okay, My Hero Academia is shonen. Is, yeah, that was a hundred. Well, yeah, and the later stuff is gets a little dark, but yeah, yeah. that's hundred percent shonen. So if see, I don't the one I'm thinking of or whatever. I don't know if I'd put that as a. You should get this, my man. 
But I, I don't know if I'd put this one as a non sane and shonen though. What are the I mean, this one could maybe toe the line a little bit. Okay. If it could toe, then it I'm, could toe I'm the line it. a little bit, but right. you it, you should uh, get this. Jujitsu Kaisen. Yes, sir. Because okay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was like I was like, this one's pretty this one's pretty tame or whatever. And I showed my dad the first episode and he was disgusted by yeah. the fingers yeah, <laughs> and stuff like that. I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> But I mean it's just like it's not like it's not entirely adult. That's why. I was, that's why I had to change. It. Like it, it toes the line. It, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, no, that one's not like pure shown in here. Yeah. But JJK, as people like to call it, JJK, Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> what do you think of that one? I I know what I think of it. So I said earlier, I had a problem with a show with distinguishing power levels. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I do not understand the power anyone. system in Jujutsu Kaisen at all. You don't understand anyone's power level. I understand what's his face. The main guy? The silver hair guy. No, the silver hair guy. Oh, oh, Kakashi. Yeah, essentially Kakashi. <laughs> I understand. Yo, Kakashi. He hella strong and everybody's scared of him. Yeah. But main character, I can't remember his name either. Yeah, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. The yeah, <laughs> we'll call him Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> I don't understand. He gives a little speech, or he thinks about something, and then all of a sudden he's strong. Right. Yeah. Because doesn't he die like a few times technically, I, I, or yeah. like borderline die? I'm like he yeah. dies or something, or like he talks to somebody, or there's a little pep talk, and then all of a sudden he's, he's literally Naruto. Yeah, I'm just like I don't understand where the power stems from. He's he's Naruto. But he has a grandpa and he has a few friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, it feels like I th didn't they like describe the power that a lot of the power is like innate, like you can't increase. Yeah, well, yeah, because it's what's most of the stuff like inside of him is just uh, the sealed guy, right? But like a lot of people are saying like the power is innate, like what you have is it. But like Sasuke is like powering up. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like in the show, the yeah, where the he's like, Sasuke, yeah. yeah, where he's like getting more summons. And this is true. He seems like the weakest character, right? But it's just like <laughs> ev evil JJK inside of him. Yeah, is like interested in him because like he's got potential and stuff. I, I don't understand the power. So like, so so he's interested in him. In fact, they're all interested in him because he's the first one right. to be able to take a finger and not just die. The JJK. No, I understand yeah. that. I'm talking about Sasuke. Why oh, yeah, everybody's yeah, yeah. interested in Sasuke. Like the evil JJK. Yeah, yeah. It's Why interested not? in Sasuke. Maybe he wants to eat him and get his summon power. I, like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't I don't understand a lot of the show. I, I was. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I understand why it's a good show. Like animation wise, it's very good. Yeah. Story wise, I understand why it's good. But at the same time, I don't understand a lot of the power system and. A yeah, lot of yeah, like JJK's character motivation changes a lot. Yeah, because it's at the start it's his grandpa. Yeah, and then it's just like I want to selflessly protect everybody. Yeah, and then I don't want to kill. But now that I've killed, it's this. I'm just like, bro, brother. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> if you're yeah, if you're, yeah. you're going to act like this, just just go all out at this point. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. It, 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 you've gone through like well, he's gone through like ten character arcs already. Like at this point, he should literally be like Super Saiyan three Goku. They keep talking about how if he can't control it, uh, they're going to kill him. Right, but it's just like it seems like he's already strong enough to kill special S grade stuff. And they're scared right, of him. Right. Because but they want to keep giving him fingers to make yeah, him stronger. <laughs> they, they wanted to give him fingers so he can eat them all and then they can kill him then. Yeah. I understand and that. Then, yeah. But it's just like, he's already strong at this point. <laughs> it's, like he can, yeah. he, he can already beat patchwork face. Yeah. He, <laughs> yeah. That's uh, it, it's hard to, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. The yeah. power levels are so hard to tell. Yeah. So, I do like the one guy in the suit, though. Oh, uh, the yeah. the one the one that uh, the the seven to ten ratio. Yeah, guy. the JoJo's guy. Yeah, I, yeah. I I like him because like his power is easy to understand. Like, yeah, you can be weak, but if you use the power right, it's strong. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Yeah, but main character is just like I'm I'm gonna train with random bro from other high school. That's my brother. All of a sudden, yeah, except being like top tier. But like, how does he know about all of this and? <laughs> 
it, it, also at the same time or whatever, it's a, what's your face? The main girl or whatever. Isn't her power kind of broken, but she just doesn't use it right? Or she didn't. Like that? Are you talking about the girl with the nails? Yeah. So it seemed like she was hiding because she had that big fight at the end where she killed a special S grade. Right, right. And you're just like, oh, she's kind of strong. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, why Why was she getting beat up? Like, in the But first at the same time, back, you're yeah. thinking about it. And it's just like, they kept saying through the fires, like, you're the worst kind of opponent to fight me because, you know, she was using the curse back against the guy. Right. So it's just like, is she strong because you got the right opponent? Because that's yeah, how the story's it, written. Is it just like, yeah. Yeah. Or is she genuinely strong? Because she just has the voodoo dolls that she, like, crucifies, right? Uh, She can do the dolls. Uh, She's got the nails. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. But it's just like, because she was losing to the other Zenon twin girl. Yeah, it, it's got a very weird tone to it because it's yeah. like, it's basically like, what if Naruto was like super edgy? Yeah. And so, yeah, that's basically like what Because that's is. another show you can't really determine power levels in. Mm -hmm. Naruto? <laughs> yeah. So the thing about Naruto, though, is Naruto changes from the early stuff to like basically the later stuff. Like it literally yeah. like the later stuff turns into magic power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Whereas the first stuff, it's very like, you know, when Shikamaru in the tuning exams, like yeah. when he's like possessing someone, and he's like going through all the like, oh well, yeah, that's like, a, they like, do that's this, good. we do this. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's so, like, but just like realistically, that's not going to work in a combat situation no. later on. Cause it's just like, no, I'm going to yeah. throw the F and moon at you. Yeah, exactly. And, and summon a giant demon dog. It's what are you like, going to do? It's just like, I'm going to, I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to tank it. <laughs> so like, I, I understand that, but just like in Jujutsu Kaisen, like everybody has combat power. Yeah. So it's like, what's determining somebody's better than somebody else? Cause it's like, why, why is a uh, Jujutsu Kaisen? Why is he good at fighting? <laughs> yeah. I like calling him. Why, why is he, why does he have supernatural strength when he's a normal person? Yeah. Yeah. Cause he's, he's stronger than all of them from the get go. And I'm yeah. like, I guess that's just because that's who he is. Yeah, or something. I don't. Know. I just not only nothing's explained about that. It's just yeah, like, dude, you're you're effing strong. It, so it's like Naruto. They're both to different degrees. Naruto yeah. is take forever to show everything, and that way people will get bored or whatever. Sometimes watching it because they're like it's taking too long. Yeah, so just a cousin is the opposite where yeah. it's like. Let's show you everything really fast or whatever. Yeah, and then like, like, yeah. Everybody's fighting like yeah. S plus grade stuff at the start. I'm just yeah. like, the show just started. You're already uh, fighting the highest ranked stuff. It, it, it's like, so Jujutsu Kaisen in 13 episodes covers what like Naruto does in like 50. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, but it's too fast. So yeah. how about maybe 26? Right. But it's uh -huh. like, I don't, nothing felt like it was explained. I, yeah, I, I felt yeah. lost trying to understand these powers half yeah. the time. Yeah, it's like I I'm not 100. percent It looks pretty. I can't, oh, yeah, it, yeah. Like it genuinely looks good, and a lot of the animation's good. And a lot of the stuff is pretty hype. Like when it does get revealed, but you're like, well, yeah. why does it work though? Yeah. Why does it work that way? Work. <laughs> yeah. And like what what determine? Because then they're what the dog do? Because <laughs> then they start going into some like Naruto BS again. Because you know they you got like special jutsus that pass down through bloodlines, right? Yeah. And then you got clone Sasuke. That's just like he he inherited the, the Zenon clan, sh sh the shadow the UGI summoning, summoning shit. And you're just like, but how does that work? Because then you got the twin girls that don't have that power. Why do they not have it? Wait, which one are we talking about? So Sasuke, right? The one who can summon all the creatures, yeah. But we're right? talking about JJK, right? Yeah. Jujutsu okay, Kaisen. guys. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait, are we still talking about Naruto? <laughs> I'm just relating them to yeah, the yeah. characters from Naruto because that's how it makes sense in my head. But it's just like, I don't understand. Is there either. two seasons of this? Jujutsu Kaisen? Yeah. No, it's just one season. Just one season. One season and episode. a movie. No, it's 20 episodes or something. Is the first one 20? I don't know. It's one it. season. I, I, I only watched one 24 season. episodes. Okay, gotcha. Oh, okay. So it was twice as long. Yeah. And a movie. <laughs> In the movie. I haven't seen the movie. Yeah, I haven't seen the movie. Yeah. I thought about it. And I was like, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So I am caught up. Okay. Yeah. Other than the movie. So <laughs> I, I was watching. I was just like, I don't. I like what's going on and I don't like it at the same time. Yeah. But, but, <sighs> like I said, you know, it's too fast. Like Attack it, on Titan's like a good pace. Right. Show and stuff like that. It's a, it slowly reveals stuff to you, but it doesn't stop the slow reveal of yeah. stuff. And I hate, I don't actually, I don't hate to say this, but it feels like Jujutsu Kaisen is just copying everything else too and putting their skin on it. it. It's, it's like, Oh, 
it's very much like Naruto, right? In like a modern, like Japanese, like high school setting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so. I mean, it feels like Naruto, and then some of the characters just feel like they're pulled from other. Like it feels like the patchwork face guy that yeah. just like can affect your soul. Feels like it could be a character like out of My Hero Academia. Yeah, like he feels like Stain. The panda feels like he's from Tekken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's yeah. just it just feels like they pasted stuff from or copied stuff from other places and pasted it in there. Yeah, and then like they've got like the story of Naruto moving at light speed. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like I get why people like it. Yeah, oh yeah. But it's... at the same time, it's just like this. <sighs> yeah. It, it it's basically got like they have a formula it's it's the my hero academia thing or whatever they yeah. have the formula for the modern shonen it's yeah. not the long-running episodes like it used to be or whatever it's hey let's get so, I mean, seasons of long-running shows well, so they change it up because so we keep the quality higher yeah they keep the quality higher and you don't have filler right because now you're not doing five episodes for the manga to get ahead again but they're also doing the thing that I didn't think I would ever complain about is they're focusing too much on the look of the show or right. whatever to, and the fact that it's like, okay, like the look of the show, that's like what we got to focus on. Right guys. Mm. So, whereas the pacing is like suffering from it. Something like my hero academia is actually like doing it right. Like with their six, six season mm-hmm. or whatever, like that one's actually genuinely really good. I haven't right. enjoyed it as much as like the first, since like the first season. And it's like, now it's like, all right, we're back to where we started. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Let's get it. Let's yeah. get it going or whatever. Everything in between though, it was like super like, yeah, not I mean, well paced. Yeah. It's the, it's the Shonen formula. Cause I mean, Demon Slayer is doing the same thing. Like they even named their new season, the new arc. Yes. Actually, I disagree. My Hero Academia is doing like pacing right or whatever. And like I'm, I'm, just keeping I'm, it in the I'm just saying like yeah. every, every Shonen is doing that now. Yeah. But like, you know, Demon Slayer, they named their new season after the arc they're on. Right. So it's just like I, I get this is the new shonen formula, but like you need you need to balance it right. I I just Chainsaw Man's gonna do the same thing. I think the thing I'm thinking of probably the most is I just want shows to have an ending in mind from the beginning. I don't want them to just like be like, hey, let's start off here and see so, where it goes. Yes and no. Yes, they're doing that a lot more now. Mm-hmm. But no, you got to push product too, because you're not just pushing yeah. the anime. You got to push light novel and manga. You got to yeah. keep people hungry for more. Yeah. Kind of well, deal. see, the thing also about it is because if they don't have an ending in mind or whatever, they'll just keep going and they'll keep making it, and they'll be like, "Well, no, it's it's done, guys." Right. Or whatever. You can make a spinoff if you want. Right. But don't continue the main of the show or whatever with. I mean, I get like you got to find a point to cut off in Naruto. Naruto should have ended. At the pain arc, at the Akatsuki attack in the Leaf Village arc, and then he become Hokage at the beginning. And then <laughs> that's what should have happened, but it didn't. He kept going, <laughs> and it did end, and it had a good ending. I'm, I'm I mean, in my opinion, Naruto should have just gone up to uh, after they fought Haku at the start. <laughs> it just ended there, and then pushed their manga. <laughs> Haku and Zabuza. <laughs> no, um, yeah, Haku and Zabuza. No, and the. Very start of Naruto, when they fight yeah. Haku, who's got the yeah the needles. They first learn about like blood lineage stuff, and he's using all the mirrors and the mist yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it should have ended after that. But Zabuza was also already introduced by that point. Zab- Zabuza's the guy with the big sword. Zabuza and Haku, the Mist Village duo. Yeah, they're both the yeah. Zabuza, Zabuza was around that long. Yeah, yeah. Zabuza was like OG villain, and then yeah. he joined Akatsuki. No, Zab- you're thinking of Kas- Kasume. Am I thinking of the dude with the giant yeah, sword? The, yeah, the fish guy with the fish sword. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, they, Whatever. Which, they're, they're both part of the seven swordsmen of the mist. Whatever. So that's why you're thinking Naruto about that. Naruto should have yeah. ended after Haku. <laughs> and then they just push the manga. They, they, they build the bridge. They build the bridge. They stop the gangsters. Reg- regardless. Read the manga. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> JJK. JJK. <laughs> I was <laughs> was in the Akatsuki. Dude, I don't remember. <laughs> I watched Naruto when I was young, and it was a long time ago. It was probably like ten years ago at this point. But JJK, JJK, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, I would you. What score did you give? I'll ask you first. I 
think I gave it an eight or a seven. I can't remember. I generously gave it seven. Okay. I gave it seven because quality of animation and the music and everything in the show was good. Right. The story is very convoluted. If I'm just going off story, the show would be like a five to me. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, jujitsu. It's jujutsu. Juju. Juju. Sue. Yeah. I'll just search juju. Juju. Uh, click. That's from fall 2020. Dude. Yes, sir. That's like forever ago. I what? told you. 2020. What? <laughs> what in high school? Uh, I can't find what I scored. It. <laughs> Did you score it? Maybe. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Juju. Juju. JJK. JJK. I gave it seven. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I gave it something like that too. Yeah, definitely not a nine. I uh, think I wanted to give it a six and a half. I was like, I can't. So I'll just. I think it was. It's higher. Than, what you said with Chainsaw Man too. I think so, but yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen was like. I think I gave Chainsaw Man a half, but I went down. Yes. I rounded down. Yeah. With Jujutsu Kaisen, it's above a six five. Like it's like a six seven, but like you can't get super specifics. Like. I want to give it a six five, but I would round up. Yeah, yeah, kind of do. I I like shonens or whatever, mm-hmm. but I want, dude. I'm telling you, dude. We just need more odd taxi. We need more Bacchanal. No, we need more do Robert Ross. No, like not those shows specifically. I'm saying shows like those shows. No. Yes, we need more you, isekai. You're 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 retarded. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, let's get an isekai that's like Bacchanal. I got one that's like Bakano. What is it called? It's the next show I watched. Another isekai. Is it like Bakano? It's you exactly just... like Bakano. <laughs> is there just a train in it? <laughs> there's no, there's zero trains in it. And there is a train in it, technically. <laughs> in a very technical sense, there is a train. I have to know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? <laughs> Tell me about it. It's an isekai. Is it airing this season? It's done airing. It aired last season. This is the most generic show ever, isn't it? It's pretty generic. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't. It was. Look at look at you. You can't even. <laughs> just, I don't got anything good to say about it. But uh, I don't have anything I, bad to say about it. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> like it's generic, but it's not slice of life generic. It's right. just generic isekai. Okay. But not super generic? Is it production value generic or story generic, character generic, or everything generic? It's pretty effing generic. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. <sighs> What's this called? Damn. It's, uh, tell me what it's called. You want to guess? No. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> There's a train in it. Is is the train like a relevant part or is there just a train at some point? <laughs> There's a train in the background of a, of a few scenes. <laughs> but it's not even like on the cover or anything. No. Yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. Just tell me what it is. is it, it's not Cold Steel, is it? No. Trails of Cold Steel? That's not an isekai. The, yeah, but it's an anime and it's got a train in it. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Yeah. I, that's why I said it's not that. Yeah. Because <laughs> the train is. I'm agreeing with you. The train has nothing to do We're with the show. We're agreeing with each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now guess the show. Is it. Uh, I don't know. You said last season. Don't look it up. I. I'm, I don't know what it is. I can't look it up. Okay, okay, Rain Man that knows everything from every season since like 1990. You said there's a train at some point in the background of yeah. the show. It's an easy guy. Yeah. You're already looking at the most, like the least amount of stuff that I watch. Give me a hint. No. You said last season. Yes. Like last season, like as in the winter season. I guess. Of this year. It's very recent. Very. Are, you're not, are, is your time enough? What? Is it actually last year? It was. I'm pretty sure it was last season. You look it up. Stop. <laughs> Quit trying to. Cheat. Let me see if I can. Winter 2023. Darn. Last season. <laughs> I did watch a few shows from that season. Um, me too. Apparently, one show. Man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't. 
I don't know. Yes. It's uh, I'm, I'm trying to think what aired last season. It's an East Day guy. <laughs> what did I watch last season? I don't know what you watched last season. Dude, I have to look it up. I'll, I'll be able to tell just by looking Probably. at the pictures. Probably. Let, let me look at the pictures. I'm just looking at the pictures. Of last season? Of last season. Okay. Is that fair? Sure. Uh, you'll, you'll figure it out immediately. Okay. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> Yeah, what? Isn't it? what? Oh, wait, that, that's not a decent guy. What, 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 what? what were you gonna say? Let me let me hear your failure of a decision. Tell me, is it popular? No, <laughs> it's a hidden gem among the East Aikai community. <laughs> there was a few that aired last season. Now that I think about it, um, uh, oh wow, there is a few. Yeah, you said it has a train in it. Yeah, you're not going to find it on the cover. Yeah, I know. Like, it's literally just background art, essentially. Okay. And a few scenes. I'm going to hold up a picture. Mm-hmm. You're going to tell me mm-hmm. if I'm right or wrong. Will I? All right. Will I? Wait, is this a music one? No, it says fantasy survival. <laughs> <laughs> is it the farmer one? Mm, maybe. <laughs> Uh, all right. I'm I'm giving my guess. Yeah. In a second. Give Let me, me see. Second. Let me see. I'm not seeing Isaac. Man. You're making my back hurt. Yeah. Good. <laughs> You're making my face hurt. <laughs> <laughs> this dumb show. What's your problem, boss? You're watching Orphan season three. <laughs> no. <laughs> Orphan remake. Yeah. Nope. Okay, if it's a hidden gem, I'm gonna go with this one. It's a hidden gem among the isekai community. Ready? Yeah. I don't know if this is an isekai. I'm assuming it is based on the cover. I just want to see. No. That's not it? No. All right, here's my second guess. Okay. (laughs) No. (laughs) Is that the aristocrat one? I think so. Yeah, that one's not good. Come on. <laughs> I think I'm getting the colder. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone like super generic. Yeah. I'm like That's Bofury, no. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an Isekai. That's just how I base everything off of. Is it a second season? Nope. Oh, okay. That's not that one. <laughs> <laughs> um all right, I'm scrolling down. I'm not actually sure if these are Isekai or not. Yeah, I'm just I know. picking them in. I know. Nope. Man. I'm not good at this. No, you're pretty bad. Oh, I found it. Did you? I found it. I know Did it you? Is. Yeah. Yeah. What is this called? Candyman Saito in another <laughs> world. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Bakano. Just like Bakano. <laughs> yeah. It's an isekai Bakano. <laughs> pretty generic. It looks generic. Yeah. It's main character not overpowered. Just kind of. It- it's kind of fun here. It and doesn't there. look more original than any of the other pictures I picked. <laughs> I mean, it's generic. It's a little more fun. Okay. It's just goofy. <laughs> I gave it a six generously. It, it looks like a four. Yeah. So that's it's probably like- a four or five. But I gave it a six because <laughs> I like you, sick guy. <laughs> oh, man. Is yeah. that the list? That's the list. That's all I've seen. That's since. the list. Well. There we have it. There I we guess. That's a, There we have it. Pretty dreadful. <laughs> Lots I, of isekai. I, you know what? Maybe with all this isekai knowledge, maybe, just maybe. You're not going to. I was going to say you. Oh, me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why would I do it? I don't have the island knowledge. What, what am I doing? You'd be getting isekai. I don't want to get isekai. Knife! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You gotta go get my truck. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Plow yeah. me over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold still. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not actually going to hit you. You just got to think you're getting hit. There's a truck in Handyman Saito. Thanks for listening to Baka Taka. <laughs> As always, George isn't here. Whatever. <laughs> Sitting also here is Eric. That's me. He's the Isekai garbage man in I mean, another I need, world. I need Aaron here to back me up. <laughs> <laughs> what would your job be if you were in another world? I don't know, dead. I'd be a survey. (laughs) Yeah, I'd be a survey too. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I'm Chase. Thanks for listening. This is Bakataka again. Yeah, later. Bye.
goodbye. I'm hitting the button now. I'm gonna hit it. <laughs>